Okay, so on the on the bottom of the chip holder, you can see here that there's a there's a chamfered edge there. That's to receive the equivalent of uh, on the chip itself. Um, it needs to be aligned this way, otherwise the ports on the um, the chip holder won't line up with the chip itself. So uh, on the actual chip, you'll feel the the rough edge there uh, with the channel cut in place. That wants to be facing towards you. So the chamfer lines up like so. You then put your membrane in place like so. And again, having the ports lined up the same way, so you have the two holes for the ports in the same orientation as the base chip and with the the cutaway side again um, facing away from you. Fits in there. And then finally, the top of the holder. There is only one way around that this can go. And there's alignment holes and pins. So this fits on top. Now just tighten it initially so it just catches and then tighten these evenly, maybe half a turn each at a time. Okay, that's about it. So, what you need is basically for the chip to be clamped evenly in place don't have this so you have a gap on, on one side, otherwise you stand a chance of breaking the chip. Don't over tighten it at this stage, it's better to try and flow th fluids through it. And if you do have a slight leak, then tighten it a little bit more, but don't be tempted to, to crank it down really hard. Okay, um, you're ready to go. These little holders, handles here, can just be put back in there for convenience. You're ready to go.